Hey YouTube, Hanneken here with another episode of Geek K. And I uh, didn't think I was going to be able to do one this week, didn't think anything would arrive. Um, but some of the stuff that I was waiting for from last month that I ordered from the beginning of last month finally arrived. And it is now the 22nd of February for those who are interested in how long this took. So, some of these, the I think the one of these, one of the one of the boxes I got today arrived or left or shipped out on like the 9th or the 6th or something like that of January and I'm just now getting it. It's ridiculous. So today we got an unboxing. It is going to be a Geek Fuel box. This is the Geek Fuel box from January. I hope. I believe so. Um, it might be the one from February, but because it is on its way, but I, I'm not I'm unsure. So we'll get, we're going to open it up. Uh, I don't see anything on the box um, that would let me know what this, um, when this was shipped. Oh, no, wait, no, I was wrong. This is the Geek Fuel for February. There's something that have been around, right? So it looks like it is actually for February. So this arrived before the Geek Fuel from January. Um, one of the other boxes that I got was shipped the same method as Geek Fuel from January at the same time. So, and it arrived. So I thought both of these were from the same shipment, but I guess they're not. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is the Geek Fuel for this month. This is the first box for February. So the last box to arrive for January, oddly enough, is the first box to arrive for February. So let's go ahead and open this up. So, Geek Fuel likes to wrap their stuff in paper. Get that out of the way. First up is, oh, and wouldn't you know, Deadpool something. It's a Geek Fuel magazine with Deadpool on it. So, this is the month of February, so yet another box that's probably going to have something in here from Deadpool. So, we're going to put that aside because I don't want to know what's in the box yet. So, Feeling around in here, I wonder what this is. Stuff stuck together. Yeah, so we got three things, didn't mean to. So first off, we have a little, um, <laughs> this is kind of cool. So it's, an, it's Geek Fuel Assorted Candy. It's a little candy thing. Um, and it's a little, it's one of those little games where you like, you know, spin it around and get all the balls in the holes kind of thing. Um, I'll post a picture of it after. But yeah, that's, I'm not sure if it's in reference to a specific game. I don't recognize the, the artwork. Which I never, I never recognized the games. So it's the so weird thing about it. It's not relevant. So, moving on. Next up, we have... A Deadpool item. It says, see the movie, and it is a keychain with a cutout of Deadpool's face. It's like little half of his kind of or the front part of his face in 3D. And it is solid. It's, um, it is metal, but it's not solid. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. It's actually hollow. So, we got a keychain for Deadpool. This design is not a toy, not intended for children under three years due to small parts. Please refrain from uh, retain for future reference. In case you forget, it's not meant for children of age three and under. Retain the card so you know. Safety first. Uh, and then we got, what do we got here? It looks like a game code. In Elliot Quest is that game that I was looking at that they had. And no one knows, who cares? Um, moving on. We have, oh, this is cool. Is it brand new? We have a hat, little, little toboggan, and this looks like, the, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't seem to be branded, but it looks like, um, I know it's, it's from Firefly, it's 
it's it's uh, you know the firefly hat that he um, most appropriately the that he wears. Uh, being if you will. So that, that's kind of cool. Next up. Oh. We have a chimichanga. A dead bull chimichanga. What, what is in this? Well, I'm, I'm almost afraid to open this. Okay, so we got a Deadpool shirt wrapped up like a chimichanga. I, I appreciate I, I appreciate the level of detail, like the little detail you went through. So let's see what this if this shirt lives up to the package. Oh, it's horrible quality, gilded and heavy cotton, and oh, it's thin heavy cotton. It's weird. I can see through the shirt. It's odd. What is that? It's not normal cotton. And it says, I hurt chimichangas. And it's got a, a Deadpool face as a heart. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's not a bad shirt. I mean, it's very simplistic. They obviously made it themselves. Um, and they packaged it in a cool manner. All right, next up. I think that's almost it. I think there's maybe one or two items left. We got a little geek fuel magnet, refrigerator magnet uh, with the geek fuel bot. So definitely, it's obviously filler. It's a limited edition. Apparently, there's 30 different magnets you can collect. We'll have to check the magazine for that one. And we got a book. It is Retro Video Game Magazine. The artwork on this is actually really, really amazing. I love the artwork on this, on both sides. So I'm a, I'll post a picture because I know you can't see this. This is some, I'm gonna do this one by itself because the de detail on this is really amazing. You have like a little caricature of Princess Leia playing old school Game Boy, wearing <laughs> a Boba Fett on her back. <laughs> There's a little, <laughs> She's got a purse, which is the Millennium Falcon and Battlefront under there with a bunch of Star Wars Infinity characters. And then she's got a bunch of little boxes with like plush toys and bobbleheads from Star Wars. A Super Nintendo, an old school gaming system. She's sitting in the Millennium Falcon. There's a Death Star in the upper right. There's a lot going on in this. There's a Sega, there's a 32X Sega. There's a lot going on in this Star Wars racer. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, there's <laughs> there's an Atari version of the of an Imperial Walker. That's kind of cool. There's a this is I actually like this. This is I don't know what's in here um, as far as what anything about the magazine. So I have to check that out. But I like the artwork on the cover at least. Uh, apparently it's their own magazine. It's called Retro. And then the back is uh, nothing special. Just got a couple. You know, classic video games, Master Chief, pretty much all the first-person shooters, Half-Life, Duke Nukem, some guy I don't know. I'm assuming that's... I don't know. Is it supposed to be Bond? I don't know. He's got PPKs. I don't know what that is. That's just weird. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. I mean... Not bad. That's all we got. Yep. Oh, and then there's a little note about Geek Fuel, uh, chimichanga shirt. What's more romantic than a night out with some chimichangas and a little bloodshed? Plenty, we're guessing, but that doesn't matter to the Merc with the mouth. Show your love for both with this month's exclusive shirt rolled up for easy handheld transport and delicious clothing options. Um, let's see. So there were several different... Oh, you could have got a keychain. Pin, or wait, can I get both? No, you could have got a pin or a keychain or a bottle opener. And we got a keychain. I think I would have rather had a pin to tell you the truth because it's the actual like Deadpool logo. Um, got the Firefly Winter Hat, Silicon Magnet. Yeah, there's really like 
crap in this box. There's nothing special. I mean, there's no figure, first of all. I would prefer to have a figure, but I mean, it, all in all, this is not that bad. It's way better box than they have, they've, they've done previously. I did not get January's box, so I can't tell you if this year is off to a good start yet. We'll see next month, maybe when I get January's box, or in like two weeks, um, rather. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Um, I didn't really see any advertising. They don't advertise very well, so I'm not sure if they ever ac actually advertise the fact that there was a Deadpool theme to the box. It doesn't really seem that there was, because you had Firefly in there as well. Um, and they don't really theme their boxes very well. They're just random sh stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's an okay box. Um, I like the shirt. I really like the hat, like the, the nostalgia part of the hat, although I probably will never wear it because I don't really wear winter hats. But yeah, um, I like the Deadpool thing. Uh, the magnet, yeah, it's kind of filler. The candy, yeah, again, filler. Uh, I would have foregone the magazine as much as the artwork. I like the artwork. I would rather just have the cover as a print. That would have been amazing because I think this is actually a really good print and I might, I don't want to ruin it, but I would rather, I, I wish I knew who the artist was. If it says, I'd rather display that because that is actually cool. I wish they didn't have the words and all this other crap on there just so I had the art print. I would rather have that as an art print rather than the whole magazine and then take the cost from that because it's a $14 magazine. The art print's like two bucks to print. $10, throw in a figure, boom, you're good to go. That would have been an epic, epic haul for a box. Um, I think they would have, they, that, that would have made this the perfect box. I'm not complaining. This was still a really great box compared to some of the boxes that I've gotten recently from them. I'm not too impressed. Uh, throw out the game code because I don't want it. Don't play it. Don't need it. It's not a popular game. It's not a useful game. It's some random game that no one plays. No value to that for me. Um, but all in all, it's still, you know, a really good box. So go ahead and tell me what you thought in the comments, um, what you liked or didn't like about this month or this box. Um, and as always, uh, provide any feedback, uh, uh, provide any feedback on the new setup on what you like, what you don't like. Uh, um, I'm always looking to try and improve and make things better. Um, like I said, I'm trying something new this time. Um, I'm using a different camera setup uh, as well than I usually use to try and you know change things up and, and whatnot a little bit to try and improve things. Um, as always, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, keeping us alive here, and hit that thumbs up if, if, if you liked it. If not, thumb it down, uh, whatever. Provide feedback in the comments, and I'm Hannikin. This has been an episode of Geek K. We'll see you in the next video. Later.